Nathan, how excited are you for tonight? We're very excited, very excited. We've been planning this for a long time and we're ready to go. And how many years is tonight? 70 years, we're celebrating 70 years uh, on this property as a drive-in theater. So walk me back, the 66 drive-in is an iconic part and an integral part of Carthage's history. It's very ingrained in the area, um, not to mention the drive-in theater in society as a whole. Um, it opened in September 1949, ran strong about the time of uh, uh, the nation was starting to have its love affair with vehicles and hitting the open road and getting out of the house. And, and it ran strong until the mid-1980s, whenever the decline happened for a lot of driving theaters. The walk-in theaters were taking a, a little bit wider stance. It closed down in 1985 and opened as a junkyard from 1985 to 1996. Still themed around vehicles, oddly enough, as a junkyard. Uh, and then it opened back up in 97, and it's been running strong since 1997. We're learning on our Route 66 travels that there's something about these pieces of history that they maybe get forgotten, but then people decide that they're gonna grab a hold and bring it back. It, it's the same with Route 66, it's the same with this drive-in. Is that how you kind of are seeing the drive-in? Yeah, absolutely. And, and to me, when you, when you drive through the gates of the drive-in theater, especially this one, it's not so much about what's on the screen, it's about the experience. It's about the playground down front where kids play. It's the smell of popcorn popping. It's the, um, the carefree environment where you can put your phones down. You can leave everything at the gate to come here and just enjoy the atmosphere. I tell people all the time, it's about the atmosphere. It's about true Americana the way it used to be when we weren't so tech savvy. It's just detaching and being with one another as family and as friends and just enjoying uh, a great film underneath the stars. What are the trends and how do people watch nowadays? Well, Southwest Missouri is gonna be a truck. <laughs> Um, and a lot of people bring their trucks in, they back in. Um, so I worked here for many years before I bought the property and we would come here as a family and we would back our truck in. And in the back we'd have pillows, blankets, um, you know, air mattresses. We'd, and we would just sit because it, it's a double feature. So it could be four hours of film um, with a 10 or 15 minute intermission. So you just like your setup. You know, it's like you're camping and it's without a tent. You set up the back of the truck, we lay back, we get popcorn crumbs everywhere, and we just enjoy the enjoy the what's on the screen. So this year I opened all the big Disney films with Avengers and Lion King and all those. But then a couple times a year I like to just take a step back. And uh, one this year I had a throwback weekend where I showed The Goonies and Sandlot, which is two classics. You know, tonight celebrate 70 years, I'm showing The Wizard of Oz. Um, we like to to take the step back. We do really well when we have a throwback weekend because uh -huh. it truly really encompasses the whole atmosphere we're after. But at the same time, hot movies are hot movies and we want to be able to compete, so we show the, the state of the art ones as well. I was, I think, around 13, and I went to a drive-in in Omaha, Nebraska, and even then, we had something that we turned on and like hooked on the side of our, of the car. Yes when we were watching. There's none of that right here. Right. Where did that go? <laughs> right. Um, that went away with technology. So we talked about it. Now it's all FM transmitted. So it comes through the radio. Um, we still have a couple poles here and there that have the old speakers on them. And they're mainly just for pictures. And, and uh, But you know, I have enough trouble with people driving, hitting my poles. I can imagine how many wires I'd be rewiring from driving off of them, still attached to their window. Uh, but it's just as technology goes with a digital, digital, digital projector, we need to stay with that, and so it's all FM transmitted. How does Route 66 play in with the 66 <sighs> drive-in? It's such a big part. So the Route 66 alone is, is such a massive piece of just us as society. If you go back to the 40s, 50s, and 60s, you know, if, if we think about the movie Cars, which was such a big push, that's true. You know, when the highways, the interstate system come along, it kind of got forgotten. Well, now it's just taking a whole bigger step, and for us, being the nostalgic theater we are on Route 66, those two things combine together and just make, it makes my business plan easy and makes me uh, be able to run a, a good, clean environment to where you, you take that step back. But it's extremely important uh, to the success of the business is that, all enough, that slab of pavement out there. Well, I know you're getting ready to get the show started, so yes. thank you so much for thank having you. us tonight. Thank We're you. so well, excited for the great. Wizard of Oz. We're glad you're here. At Missouri Life, we encourage you to spark your spirit of discovery and experience the wonderful people and places that make our state unique. 
like and subscribe to the Missouri Life YouTube channel to stay up to date with full episodes, exclusive content, and much, much more.